Hi everybody! In this video, I'll be covering everything you need to know about the Glamour Dresser. It shocks me to this day that there are still a lot of players who don't use the Glamour Dresser or even know about it. It's an incredibly handy feature that's a must-have for those who love Glamour, as well as inventory space. So, without further ado, let's hop right in. The Glamour Dresser is a furnishing item that can be found in in-rooms. When you interact with the Glamour Dresser, you can convert equipment pieces into the dresser by using a Glamour Prism. This stores the gear in the dresser and allows you to make Glamour plates or apply that piece to your existing outfit from the Glamour Dresser itself. We'll cover Glamour plates in just a moment, but for now, let's go over the rest of the basics involving the dresser. The Glamour Dresser, as of right now, can hold up to 400 items in it, which is immensely helpful in cleaning out your inventory space for Glamour items. When you convert an item into the dresser, it will bond that piece of gear with you if it wasn't already, meaning that when or if you retrieve it, you won't be able to sell or trade that item with other players. Speaking of retrieving gear pieces, that option is listed here as Restore Item. Any gear stored in the dresser can be restored with this option and added back into your inventory if you ever need to do so. If you're like me and you have your dresser packed almost full near 400 items, you'll need to do this regularly to clear out more space. Additionally, items added to the dresser will retain any dye colors that they already have on them. They will, however, not retain any crest designs. Dyes can also be applied to gear pieces in the dresser by clicking on them and simply using the die option. The Glamour Plate feature can be found in the Glamour Dresser under the Edit Glamour Plates option here. When you open this tab, you can see here that you have 15 plates to work with. What Glamour Plates allow you to do is create your favorite looks from items you've converted into the dresser and save them. Then it's as easy as simply applying said glamour plate to your existing outfit. It saves a ton of time as opposed to doing every single glamour piece individually. Some things to keep in mind with glamour plates. You can dye the gear pieces in the glamour plate tab, but be warned that if you do so, it doesn't dye the gear piece permanently. If you remove that piece from that slot in the glamour plate, it will remove the dye and that piece will go back to what it was before. So don't use jet black or pure white dyes in the glamour plate tabs. Make sure to use those in the dresser tab itself to dye the gear pieces permanently. Also, the same rules apply to glamour with the dresser and plates when it comes to what classes can wear what pieces. If the gear piece in question can only be worn by tanks, then it won't show up on healers. Just keep in mind the limitations of the current glamour system when you are making looks with the glamour plates. And that about sums up the Glamour Plate feature. However, there is one more thing. At the bottom here, you can see an option to look into the armoire. This option here will allow you to open the armoire and use outfits from there in your Glamour Plate. So let's move on to that topic and discuss the armoire separately. The armoire is another furnishing item that can be found in in-rooms, but unlike the Glamour Dresser, can also be placed in private houses. The armoire is another storage for select gear pieces. It's hard to explain everything that can be stored in this, but for the most part, any kind of seasonal event gear or special story gear can be tossed in here to help with more of your inventory space troubles. If you attempt to convert an item into your glamour dresser, it will sometimes give you a prompt on whether or not it can be stored in the armoire. If it can be, then toss it in the armoire for free storage. The only thing to really keep in mind about the armoire is that if you dye a piece of gear and then try to put it in here, it will strip that gear piece of the dye. So be very careful of this and make sure not to use pure white or jet black dye on pieces that you're going to put in the armoire. You can still store pieces dyed those colors in the glamour dresser, however. Um, you just will miss out on the free storage space. All right, that about covers all of the basics and more about the Glamour Dresser and Armoire. Hopefully you learned how to use them if you didn't know already. And if you did, I hope you learned some things that you didn't know before. This feature helps a lot once you get used to it and figure things out. It'll help your inventory space a lot, trust me. Also, you'll look great, so it's a win-win. 
please leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be sure to help you out. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and share it with others so that they can learn how to utilize these features. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one.